Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to see you all again. Um, only one day after my previous video, but uh, there's a very good reason for that, because while, well, within, um, while I was still editing the previous one, in fact, it was within like just a few minutes of me actually filming it, I had a uh, knock at the door and it was a delivery and I really wasn't expecting it so soon, but here we go. It has arrived. The uh, infamous, shall we say. This is the one that um, broke the controversy over mobile fidelity and them using DSD in their production chain. And um, well, long awaited and here it finally is. So what I'm going to do is uh, just run through a little bit about what you get for your money and also um, talk about the sound because I have listened to it. Let me tell you first what you get for your money. Uh, this costs £135, which might sound an awful lot of money for a uh, an LP record, but it is an exceptionally nice LP record. So the first thing you'll notice is this is not in the um, traditional MoFi one-step boxes, but in a nice slip case, which makes it a lot easier to fit on the shelf. And also, this is uh, 33 and a third RPM rather than 45. That is going to have an effect on the sound quality, uh, but it also has an effect on the, you know, the user experience, so to speak. You only have to get up the normal amount of times, one at the start of each side. So let's have a look what we get in here. That's, uh, that's it for the slip case. It's a good solid slip case. It is finished in the same, I haven't taken the um, shrink off here, but it is finished in the same sort of rubberized, soft touch um, material as the other one steps. Uh, it, 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 it's very, 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 very nice. So let me just put the cover down here for a minute. So inside we get a, uh, literally a, a kind of a, pretty much a facsimile of the original album cover printed onto, uh, you know, decent quality matte card, but it's not, you know, there's nothing stunning about this. Um, but you've got it. You've got the original cover artwork. And then where on the original you get a lyric uh, in, a sh in a sleeve, here you just get a piece of uh, decent, decent quality card with the same, same printing on it. So here we've got all the lyrics. Um, what you don't get, funnily enough, is the, um, which I didn't get, maybe that's just um, slipped out of this issue. Um, but I didn't get the, the normal MoFi one step, this is what a one step is and this is how fabulous we are at MoFi. So this is the the actual record sleeve that you get, which again, it's, it's this sort of soft touch matte finish with embossed gold lettering. It's all very lovely. Pressed on super vinyl, 33 and a third RPM. Mastered by Krieg Wunderlich um, on the Game 2 Ultra Analog system especially plated pressed on 180 gram high definition super vinyl so that's that inside there your normal mofi thing is you got another inner sleeve kind of slip protector which uh, it just adds to the protection that your record receives and then these wonderful non-scratching anti-static archival quality mofi inner sleeves and then the thing that we've all been waiting for, the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful record. So again, unlike all the other one, um, one steps I've got, this is 33 RPM uh, and you just get the one of them. And one thing I've said before about this super vinyl, I'm guessing you can probably see this, but if I hold that white card up behind it, maybe you can see it better. It is actually translucent. It's, it's really, really pure. It's um, it's nice and thick. It's perfectly flat. It's it's a, it's a beautiful piece of vinyl. One of the things about this vinyl is it's got very 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 low noise floor compared with um, other regular vinyls. 
I wouldn't say it's better than the vinyl that, that analog productions use. Um, you know, their clarity vinyl. I'm sure they're very, very much much of a muchness. Um, but but the point being that very, very, very pure, very, very quiet vinyl is uh, is used here. And I think that's um, as as I'll come on to in the listen. I think that really is quite relevant. But anyway. Let's pop that back in here for now. So it's um, it's really neat. It doesn't take up too much space. I mean, you know, it really doesn't take up too much rec uh, space on the shelf, which is a, you know, honestly is a good thing because um, uh, you know, the, the regular kind of uh, one step boxes. I mean, they, they take up a good sort of thirty five mil of shelf space. You know, and that's per album. You don't have to have many albums before your shelves start getting full. Anyway. That's uh, that's that's the article. This is the uh, item that we'll be talking about today. And then, really, the critical thing is, how does it sound? Now, what I've done to compare is I have got my uh, trusty original pressing. Now, I'll just put this one down here for now. This isn't, um, you know, this isn't a magic, super amazing, wonderful, amazing pressing. But this is a 1982 uk original um and for those of you that want to know i will fill you in with this information for those of you that want to know it's uh matrix numbers are epc 85930 a4 and um B7 on the other side, obviously the same prefix. So, you know, I've looked it up. It's certainly, it's a 19, it's a 19, uh, uh, 82. Um, they call it a repress on Discogs and, and, you know, they pressed millions of these. Um, I do believe this is the best selling record of all time or one of them. So they pressed an awful lot of these. Now, just to just to show you the, the um, original, that's what I mentioned. You've got this, um, it's actually in, in a sleeve here with the lyrics. Yes, he really does say that you're a vegetable on uh, want to be signing something because that's something for, what is 82, 82, 40 years. So yeah, for 40 years, I kind of think, what is he singing about? But yep with vegetables. So here we go, this is the original skateboard cover. Michael with a baby a tiger. Now then, the sound. So I started off, uh, I say that the record arrived yesterday, so I started off last night. I cleaned everything up. I demagnetized it, which is which is part of my regular procedure, just so everything's absolutely working for an equal um, starting place. Warm the stylus up for a good hour and a half or, or so. Um, everything was cooking. Everything was warmed up. So I started off by playing the original. I want to be starting something, and. Um, as you know, sort of, you know, everyone's going to know this album. And if you don't know the album, I don't know why you're watching the video, because if you don't know the album, you're hardly likely to want to go out and spend £145 on a special version of it. But, um, you know, you want to be starting something starts. And there's, it's just, um, it's very, very, very hard hitting. You've got this very powerful bass, um, which is tight, hard, quite a mechanical sound um it's it's loud it's punchy um and i think that's really the thing about the the original the, the thing that really sort of defines it if you like it's it's hard it's punchy it's tight it's fast it's sort of intense um grip but it's to me um and again, I have to put this in perspective. My my amplifiers are largely valve based. Anyone who knows the sound of Class D amplifiers, um, particularly in the bass end, they are they have an incredible punch 
and and drive to them uh and you know even myself I, I, you know someone puts on a class t app and it's like wow it's 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 you can't fail to be impressed initially and it's sort of after that impression you think it's it, all it is is power and thump um and there's very little kind of shimmery shading and, and layering and texture um compared with the best sort of you know class a even solid state electronics and um certainly in terms of valves and things like that now my intention was i was going to play the whole album through here then play the whole of the mofi then go back to this and sort of you know play a track go back to the mofi play a track and sort of you know jump between the two as I, as i saw fit really just to sort of try and get a handle on on um on what's going on here but i put want to be starting something on and i put it on quite loud it's it's you know it's not the sort of music you play quietly in the background really it's it just isn't um and you've got this sort of you know you've got this really tight bass um there's these sort of clap type sounds um again the, the very hard sort of mechanical almost digital almost sounding um sort of quite clipped processed sounding um and that's sort of the, the main kind of intro um and then the first vocal sound you've got is off in the left channel um where you get ooh from michael and the main vocal comes in and then you've got on the right channel you've got to up yeah yeah and you you know the main vocal obviously is in the center um and you've got um sort of background harmonies it's like something you know yeah yeah and all that kind of you know just softer backing kind of echoing the main you know the, the, the sort of the last word of each line kind of thing um and very different sort of timbral textures to the backing vocals uh and michael's vocal which is you know really um you know he's got a very very sweet voice as we all know from his from his you know more youthful stuff particularly and uh it's you know it's it's hard and pinched and sort of driven and forced on this a lot more or you know on a lot of the tracks anyway some of them are very uh much more kind of mellow and, and, and soft and subtle um but it's you know the uh, the the track continues and i I have to be honest with you, as I say, I was going to play the whole album, but you know, I was I was giving it some stick. I just say it wasn't very enjoyable. It was it was the, you know the overall impression was of listening to something where very forced, um, everything left, right, and centre sounded like it was clipped and 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 getting harsh and and hard and and, and well yeah clipped. Um, and aggressive and the, um, the the more sort of subtle background elements like the sort of the um, the horns they just had a kind of a digital quality to them almost um, and when you got the backing vocals and the horns sort of kind of bah, bah, sort of together um, it would just gloss over into one and it, it was uh it was a little bit of an eye opener to hear it again after you know quite some time on on you know very decent system and turned up quite loud of course um so basically i got to the end of the first track and i just thought oh, I, I i don't i don't know if i want i don't know if i need to endure the whole album in a listening to it in a kind of a, a forensic way bearing in mind i'm just listening to this really to get my bearings for where this stands so off came the original and on went this now the first thing i thought of was it's it sounds you know the background was super 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 quiet um and i've mentioned that before about the vinyl they're using which is very 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 low noise now i think one of the main things that they've used that's in this to benefit this is because they've got such a low background noise from the vinyl floor you know, the vinyl noise floor they've been able to lower the overall recording level and i'd say it's probably about four or five db quieter 
So, you know, you uh, sort of put on the, the, you know, want to be starting something. And those, you know, the first of all, do 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 kind of sounds um, quite similar. A slightly different texture and a slightly different shape to the bass notes, which I'll, I'll get onto more. But um, then as he started singing, I think, oh, it's, 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 it's quite a lot more recessed. And that's where I sort of realised that actually they've got a different, quite different levels, but with less compression. So basically I turned my system up uh, and I actually turned it up by about 4 dB, which I kind of gave, I thought 4 dB gives around about the same vocal level um, uh, in, in terms of volume and, and, and the same sort of vocal presence and size of, 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 of Michael in the room. Again, I'll come back to other finer points about that. Um, but but it's by lowering the overall level because they can because they've got a much quieter start you know a more a more neutral a more silent invisible um, canvas if you like to paint the musical picture on. Uh, and then because they've kind of pitched that middle line of his vocals, you know, say let's say for argument's sake, four dB quieter, that means they can take the peaks in contrast to that four dB higher before getting into any areas of clipping. Um, and they, but but also because of that very very silent canvas, they can you know you can hear down into the lows much better too so it's 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 a much more natural sound much much more natural sound it's not a small difference it's quite it's quite a huge difference it's quite a fundamental difference but you do need to turn it up um and i listened to uh i listened to the first what did we listen to um want to be starting something baby me i and then halfway through The Girl Is Mine, which is the duet with Paul McCartney. And, and the timbre and texture of Paul's voice there is, is quite, um, uh, it, 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 it's quite lovely. It really, really, really is. Um, so before we got to Thriller, I'd actually turned it up again because I, I and I, th I think this is the same as this Eagles, um, uh, on the border, which I which I linked to a moment ago, which uh, you know do go and check out if you want. But I was there's no question I was I was still sort of sitting there listening, thinking, am I going to hear some digital artifacts here? What if they what if they screwed up by um, using a digital um, element? And it's it's not really in its mastering; it's just the source. They took the original. Um, half inch 30 IPS analog master tape and they ripped it to DSD 256 which is I mean you've got high res and you've got ultra high res and, and you know uh, or, or let's say very high res I would say DSD 256 is very 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 high res so all they've done is they ripped it to that to get it from Sony to Sebastopol where they do their own, you know, which is where they kind of mastered it for cutting, um, and and you know that's that's it. It's 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 gone back to an analog lathe. It's it's almost like just it's been putting a put in a very 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 high definition digital suitcase to get it from A to B geographically, and that's it. So what they've done is they've taken this. Uh, they've taken it to Mofi headquarters and mastered it for for this vinyl release. Pressed this vinyl release using the one step process, which uses uh, two less pressing stroke molding stages than a normal LP. And what you get is something which is just exceptional sound quality. I mean, it it really, really, really is. It's um, I mean the um, yeah. So let's go back to want to be starting something. Then the sort of the, the the basic kind of differences in sound quality. So the bass notes start. This is once you've you know adjusted uh, you know raised the volume by say four dB. 
there's more weight in the bass notes. There's more roundness to them. There's more shape, if you like. Um, they're not louder. They're just more real sounding. They're just as hard hitting and they're just as fast. Um, but there's more depth. They're more in a natural, actual, feelable, readable sound stage, so to speak. Um, but then you've got like, uh, I mean, the vocals right from that initial sort of ooh in the left channel. It's it's just, it's more tan tangible. It sounds real. It sounds like Michael Jackson. It sounds like a real voice that you could actually touch. And his main vocal, um, it kind of, it's not very dissimilar, but it's it's still in that same place. But you can kind of hear it as a separate thing and you can almost feel around the back of his head you could feel you know you could almost hug him if you wanted to uh some would some wouldn't i'm sure um and uh it's it's just more real it's 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 softer not in a losing definition kind of softness but in a natural you know you can hear the air coming out of his mouth. You can hear his lungs. You can hear, you know, the, 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 you know, the bulk and weight of his body, so to speak. It sounds like a real voice, um, less harsh. And then all the little, um, the little, you know, um, yeah, 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 and then something, sort of backing vocal echoes. Uh, they are. Again, they're in the same way as Michael's voice. You can you can hear them separate to everything else and much more kind of tonally natural, uh, quite deliciously so. And the horns, um, they don't sound, um, you know, obviously they are metal horns, but they don't sort of sound metallic and brassy. Uh, that's a strange thing to say, I know, but they sound like horns. Um, they sound like a horn section um, played by human beings rather than some clipped electronic kind of blary kind of noise. Um, and even the kind of the clap sounds, which I, I don't know whether they are actual hand claps, but, um, you know, on the original, I mean, they, you know, they sound like breaking wood or something. I mean, it's just, they're just, they're just really hard, harsh, cracking kind of noises. Um, whereas on this, they, they, you know, there's, there's absolutely, uh, like a reverb on them. You can hear the shape of them, the, 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 it, it, you know, the difference is really, really quite profound. And another thing on this, the, uh, there, there's, there's sort of background keyboard, um, I wouldn't say melodies and what was such as like just sort of notes and sort of lay, laying in layers of texture. And you could just hear them, all, all of them, all of those individual things. And I mean, you might be able to go back to the original and, you know, now you know they're there and strain and hear for them, but you're listening through such a harsh, clipped landscape that it, it really is hard to hear. Um, and the guitar, the sort of plucked guitar, sort of rhythm guitar -y kind of sounds towards the end of the track again. Beautiful on this. Um, so anyway, as I said, I the intention was play the whole of the original album and then play the whole of this and then go back and forth on individual tracks. And as I say, I played the I played want to be starting something, and I did actually even stop that before the end of the track. Uh, so you know, we've got here. I'm describing. You know, we've got as far as the girl is mine and, and Paul's voice. Um, and the line where, you know, he's sort of singing quite softly in there. I don't believe it. It's just, it's so Paul McCartney giving it some. It really is. It's it's, it's fantastic. But then we get to Thriller. And um, again, everybody knows Thriller, surely. But the um, the sound is just far more natural, far less compressed, clipped and harshed. Um, you can hear all the layers of the mix. Um clear smooth um and um and it's important to know this isn't remixed 
I'm really not very into remixed albums. Um, it really isn't my thing. This is just remastered. So you're not changing the kind of composition of the record. You're not changing the arrangement. You're not changing the mix. You're just changing the quality of its packaging to be delivered to you, so to speak. And by God, it's, it's, um, it's very, very, very well done. Um, I mean, carrying on with Thriller, it's, it, it's the... Um, you could probably wrap the whole album up with this actually because it's you, you've got that you've got that powerful beat which you kind of you know which is say it's, it's sort of pretty much all that you get on the on the original it, it, it definitely um, you know doo -doo 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 -doo, et cetera it just drives the song you've still got that exactly the same but with more texture with more colour with more timbral information in there but you've got in addition to that you've kind of got the um you, you've got the guitars um, i think the guitars on the left channel there's a there's a guitar sort of doing a little like rhythm rhythm guitar type of little boogie um you've got um Tom's on the uh, on the uh, right hand side, so giving it some, and and the clarity of all these little rhythmic elements, uh, because you know it's 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 Michael Jackson and and Quincy Jones. I think the two together really are exceed the sum of the parts, frankly. Um, but you've got that writing rhythm machine just uh as i say it's the same recording it's the same mix what you're doing here is you're looking at it through a much 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 clearer lens um if you imagine this is you know this is listening to the album you know properly this is listening to the album with um combination of earwax and gravel in your ears you know, yeah. I mean, the, and the, the the same carries over. I mean, beat it is 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 just. Um, I've always liked beat it, um, and Billy Jean. I think Billy Jean's probably my favourite song on the album, really. But um, both of them, for the, for the, for exactly the same reasons that I've been saying on 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 the um, on side one. It's just the layering, the detail, the, the texture, the um, the freedom of breakup, really, the, the freedom of clipping, the lack of clipping and, and pushing pushing everything too far. Uh, it's, it's just, it's outstanding. Um, now, I was kind of half expecting this to be a lesser finished product i just realized i've left my coffee in the middle of the shot here hang on um let me take a swig yeah i was i was kind of half expecting this to be a lesser um experience than other one steps because it's 33 rather than 45. honestly um i can't say that's the case it's actually quite refreshing and um you know, to have something that, that's that much better than the original, yet is still packaged in a, you know, I mean, you know, it, maybe it takes up twice the shelf space, maybe just. But it's, 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 you know, it's the same experience of putting the record on, taking it off and all the rest of it. It's, it you know, you don't have to get up twice as many times. And it sounds utterly fabulous um now one other thing i was I, just listening to this um and you know almost wanting i don't know you know, you know accepting my prejudice uh because of the you know the dsd step kind of thinking okay is it is it going to be flat is it going to be gray is it going to be colorless is it going to be this is it going to be that you know all the things that i could think of as negatives that I could possibly attribute toward it. 
And, and actually, if there's one thing that, that you, I would say is an overriding impression of playing this, is it sounds so much closer to tape than this. Um, I haven't obviously got the original master tape. I haven't heard the original master tape, but I've got, you know, I've got a lot of kind of master copies. I've got a couple of actual masters um, and I've heard an awful lot of tape. And there's no question, this is far, far, far closer to the sound of tape than this. And that's kind of ironic, bearing in mind this one has at some point been digitised, albeit only to DSD and only to four times DSD at that, which is, as I said, very, 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 very high res digital. Um, and it was only used to carry it from A to B in that format. There was no processing done. So there we have it. Um, Michael Jackson Thriller. Michael Jackson Mobile Fidelity Ultra Disc One Step Thriller. Does it beat it? Yes, it does. And I think this really does throw down the gauntlet now. Um, I don't. I don't expect this can be beaten. Really, I mean, if if if. Sony decides to grant MoFi another license at some point in the future, such that they can, uh, hi Toby, such that they can do a 245 RPM version. You know, I think that would undoubtedly sound better, but um, would I rush out and buy it? No, I don't think I would rush out and buy it because this sounds so damn good. And you've still got that 33 RPM proper one side, two side kind of thing. So, um, there really is, you know, frankly, at this moment in time, and for the foreseeable, I don't foresee anything better. This is it. Uh, thriller as you've never heard it before. Absolutely, utterly fabulous. Now, as I mentioned right at the start, I was very surprised to get this uh, so soon. Um, I think it's only just going out, started shipping even in the US. Uh, as of today, I don't know anyone else that's got one other than um, Mike of the in group who got a pre-release press copy so I feel extremely lucky to have got this uh, and I have to put that down to David Brook at uh, the vinyl adventure.com many many thanks David um, I know he only got them into the country on Thursday he subsequently told me and he shipped one straight out to me uh, by courier next day delivery and as I say it arrived yesterday and um, David's got them in stock now, and they're £145. And I will um, put a link to the vinyladventure.com down in the description below. And on that note, I'll end it. So thank you very, very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it informative and helpful. Um, I absolutely, utterly recommend this. Um, it's actually far better than I was expecting really 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 is it's it's a it's an amazingly pleasant surprise um and and sounds absolutely utterly fabulous well done mofi uh thank you thank you very much for watching and i will see you all soon bye now bye